Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Mach 3 brain. This brain in particular is going to control a red, amber, and green stack light tower. Now one of the many features that Mach 3 has is the ability to create PLC logic with the brain editor. Now what is a brain? A brain is just basic PLC logic to turn on and off outputs. A PLC is programmable logic controller. And what we have here are some inputs. We have one for e-stop. This is a the reset LED. We have a tool change weight, macro running, a run condition, the spindle on or is moving. These are some of the inputs we're going to be using to control our stack light. Now after we receive our input, we need to determine what we're going to do with this signal. And these are conditions for these inputs. And then after we receive these signals, what are we going to do? So in this case, we're going to be turning on an output. Each one of these rows of PLC logic is called a rung. And each of these rungs stacked together is called a ladder. This is commonly referred to as ladder logic. And we're going to talk about that as we build our brain. So how do we start? Well, first we go up to operator and then we go to brain editor. Click OK and that will bring up the brain editor and we're going to open our brain. I've got one here named sample brain. I'm going to open. So Mach 3 brains have very few commands here. It's very simple, but it's very intuitive. So to get started, let's click on the plus. It will bring up this window. We want an, our first input to be an e-stop. So we're going to click on input and then we're going to select one of the Mach 3 variables here. We already have e-stop in here, so we're going to select that, click OK, and you can see we have our e-stop. If you click up here on scroll and uncheck this, it will make it bigger here and it's a little bit more easier to see. We're going to click on it here and make it green so that it's selected. Now what are we going to do with this input once we get it? Well, this is where Mach 3 brains are very easy to use. You simply click on the plus and then it gives you a pop-up box to condition this particular input. In this case, we want to invert this signal and we're going to click OK. So what we're doing is basically flipping the signal so that when this input is active, it's going to give us a low and when it is uh, not active, it's going to give us a high. Okay, next we want to add our another input. So we're going to click the plus button. Make sure you don't have anything selected. It's actually going to be a LED. If you notice that Mach 3 e-stop LED is LED number 800, but because I don't want it to say e-stop here, I'm going to just use the LED number 800. And then now it will say OEM LED 800. And that just lets me know that it's the reset LED. It's just a little bit easier for me to gather my thoughts here. Okay, we're going to select this. And then we're going to click our plus button again so that we can condition this signal. We're going to select no operation. Click OK. So it's basically just going to pass this signal through here. And then next, we want to add a function. We're going to add an AND function. So we're going to select this, hold down control and select the other. We're going to click plus again. And then now we're adding some logic. We're going to use an AND function. We're going to click OK. So what I'm basically saying is I need to have the reset LED, but not an e-stop. Both conditions need to be met in order for me to get an output. Next, I want to select our AND, click plus. I'm going to add a timer. 
Now this timer needs to not be a cumulative. It does not need to be a single shot. It does not need a delay. The pulse needs to be 0.75 seconds and it repeats after another 75, 0.75 seconds. Click OK. Alright, so now that we have our timer in place, we're going to select it and then we're going to terminate this rung. And this is the upside down T. We're going to use an output and we're going to use output 7. Click OK. So let me explain this rung. Our input here is for our e-stop, but we have inverted this signal. So if we, if our e-stop is not activated and our reset LED is activated, then we're going to output, make output seven active every 0.75 milliseconds. So we're gonna get our output blinking, but what do we do if our out e stop is solid? Well, that's where the next rung comes in. So we're going to hit plus again, and we're going to use an LED. We're going to use 800 again. We're going to select it, hit the plus button. We're going to have no operation. We're just going to pass that signal through again, and then we want to add another input. This is going to be our e-stop. Hit OK. We're going to select it. Hit our plus. Again, no operation. Then we want to select this. Hit Control and select this. We want to have an AND function. And then we want to go up here. We want to remove this terminator on this first rung. We want to select this and this. So we're going to combine these two rungs. We're going to hit our plus. And now we're going to use an OR function. We're going to select our OR. We're going to terminate this. Again, we're going to use an output. And we're going to use number seven. Okay? So let's see what we've done here. So if we do not have an e-stop, if our e-stop is not activated and our reset is activated, we're going to output number seven every 0.75 millisecond. Or if our reset LED is active and our e-stop is active, then we're going to output and make output number seven high. You can see what I've done here is if we're in a reset condition, we're gonna blink every three quarters of a second, 0.75 milliseconds. And if we have an e-stop and a reset condition, which we always do in Mach 3 with an e-stop pressed, we're going to turn on output seven and make it active. Okay, everybody with me so far? All right, so next we're gonna create our logic for our amber stack light. I'm going to be using the amber stack light for a tool change or whenever a macro is running, uh, like your M6 macro for a tool change. Or I have some other macros that run uh, for various other things, and so I want my amber light used for that. So we first need to click a come up here to the plus sign and add a input. We're going to use a, a LED here. We're going to select tool change, weight, right here. Now we're going to select our tool change input, click the plus sign. We're going to go with no operation. We just want to pass the signal through. We're going to add another input here. This is going to be uh, whenever a macro is running. So again, it'll be an LED here. It's hard to find that sometimes through here. Uh, macro is running. Okay. 
click OK. We're going to select it. Put a no operation filter on it just to pass the signal through. We're going to select both of these. Hit the plus sign. We're going to add a OR function. We're going to select this. Hit plus again. Let's create a timer. Make sure you uncheck accumulative and single shot. We're going to hit 0.75. 0.75 we're going to select our timer and we're going to terminate this with output number 8 click OK so now we have created our conditions for our amber light if we have a tool change condition where we're waiting for a tool change or if a macro is running we're going to turn on and off output 8 every 75 milliseconds. All right, so now that we have our amber light logic created, we can work on our green light. So what do we want the green light for? Well, if we're in a run condition, so we'll click on our plus here. All right, so we're going to select our LEDs. We're going to look for run right here. We're also going to add another input for our spindle. Doesn't give you all the information there, but I think it's clockwise or counterclockwise there. All right, so go back up to our run, hit the plus sign. We're going to put a no operation and we're going to pass that signal through. We're going to do the same thing for our spindle. We're going to hit control and select both of these and we're going to put a, a OR function. Hit OK. And then we're going to add one more input for our green stack light and that is going to be uh, is moving. I'm going to select that, put a no operation filter on there. I'm going to also add a timer to this. Again, you can make the delays, whoops, you can make the delays whatever you choose. I do uh, 0.75. All right, we're going to select this timer and this OR output. And then we're going to select another OR function. And we're going to terminate this with output number 9. So there we have created our ladder logic to operate our red, amber, and green stack lights. Now, for the green stack light, if we are running or if the spindle is on or if we're moving, we're going to turn on our green light. If we're just moving, then we're going to flash our green light. If the spindle is on, or if we're running G-code, then it's going to be on solid. All right, so how does this all work? Don't forget to save your work here. Go up to Operator. You go up to Brain Control. We want to first enable the stack light brain that we just created, sample brain or whatever you named yours that you just created. Uh, we're going to be using our stack light. So you select it here, you make sure it's enabled, and then you uh, load it. 
or reload it in this case just in case you made some changes and then we're going to view it we'll select it and then hit view all right so now that we've created our Mach 3 brain we can see how our PLC logic works so if we have an e-stop condition we get both our flashing reset here as well as our e-stop you can verify this by looking at your diagnostics tab so we have all four of those conditions made and we get our output 7 active if we clear the e-stop but yet we still have our not ready condition not reset condition then we get a flashing red light once that is clear you can see the output goes low and we lose our red stack light for our amber stack light if we're in a tool change or if a macro is running we're going to get output 8 so if I press this power draw bar button here you can see that our output 8 flashes because the macro is running and it is on a timer so it's going to turn on and off output 8 same thing will happen if we're in a tool change now for our green stack light if we are moving like we would be if we're referencing our machine you can see we turn green I know this happens kinda quick because we're in simulation mode but you can see that we get our output 9 if we turn the spindle on we also get a solid green light and if we're running g-code we will also get a solid green light so that's basically how the PLC logic works you can see it it looks fairly complex but in reality it's not really that complicated you can see that it's fairly simple to do however I will warn you that when using breakout boards avoid breakout boards that use the safety charge pump function because once you're in a reset condition it disables your breakout board and it will no longer let you output the outputs in order to enable the stack light so you need a plain breakout board that does not take advantage of the safety charge pump and then that way it can still activate your outputs for your whatever you're choosing to do in this case operate a stack light guys thanks for watching the video please feel free to ask questions make suggestions and leave comments hopefully this video will help you if you're considering adding some kind of PLC function to your Mach 3 thumbs up if you like the video Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.